morning, guys. We are here in Udara Resort and Spa um, in Changgu, Bali, which is in Indonesia. Really lucky to be here today. We've got the ocean out behind us, even though you guys can't see it. And we've got Volcano Zugung and Batur behind us. Very beautiful here today. Uh, we're going to go through a Baron Baptiste sequence today. If you've never done Baron Baptiste before, this is a power sequence. It's definitely welcome to all levels. I will give modifications and amplifications if you're wanting to kind of relax a bit more in uh, to the sequence or if you're wanting to amplify and challenge yourself. This will be about a 30 minute modification of the full Baron Baptiste sequence, which is around an hour and a half. So this is just a little bit of a taster into that methodology um, of the journey into power. So see how you like it. And if you're looking for the full um, power sequence, I do have it on my YouTube channel, which you can find. And yeah, it's a very beautiful practice if you're looking to strengthen your asana practice and just strengthen around um, range of mobility and physical aspects. So we're gonna go ahead and start in child's pose. So allow the knees to go wide, sit back onto the heels, stretch the arms forward and forehead to the earth. So just taking a moment to settle into the physical body, let's take a few breaths here. You can massage the forehead from left to right. On the next inhale, come up to a tabletop position. So just a few cat and cows here to bring in some flexibility to the spine. On an inhale, drop the belly down, look forward and up. On an exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, let the belly drop, look forward and up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Again, inhale, drop the belly, look forward. Exhale, round the spine. Last one. Inhale, belly drops. And exhale, spine rounds. Come back to a neutral position. Tuck the toes under and press back to downward facing dog. So in your downward facing dog, resist the need to change the position. Just set the heels down. Hips up nice and high. Press the palms and fingers wide. And take five breaths here. Plug the shoulder blades down the back, belly pulling into the spine. And then slowly begin to walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Taking tiny steps as you come forward. Taking a hold of opposite elbows, slight bend in the knees, ragdoll here, rocking from side to side. It's just allowing the upper body to hang. So the weight of the upper body helps to lengthen the lower body down the back line. Moving into the calves and the hamstrings, allow the arms to hang down to the earth. On an inhale, slowly press into the feet, round up. Take your time, take several breaths, let the arms hang. Let the upper back round as you come up to standing. Shrug the shoulders back. And take an inhale, reach up with the arm. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take an inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach. And exhale, bow forward. We begin with Sri Namaskar A, three to five rounds here. Inhale, come up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to a plank position. Inhale. Exhale, lower halfway or to knees and chest. Inhale, forward to upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend into the knees. Exhale, hop or float forward. Inhale, come up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up. And exhale, bow down. Inhale, up halfway. 
Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank, lower halfway or to knees and chest. Inhale forward, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, bend into the knees. Exhale, float or hop forward. Inhale, come up halfway, hands to shins. And exhale, fold. <laughs> inhale, reach up, rise up. And exhale, bow all the way down. And last one here, inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, walk back or float back. Low plank. Inhale, forward, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take five rounds of breath here. Really plug the palms down, heels down. Inhale, bend into the knees. Exhale, float forward. Big toes together, inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold. <clears throat> Deep bend in the knees, reach up, chair pose. Sink into the seats. Arms nice and long. Shoulders down the back, belly in towards the spine. Inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, fold. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop back. Move to low lunge or to knees and chest. Inhale forward, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing. Step the right foot forward, left heel down. Reach up, warrior one. <clears throat> Sink into the right knee. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth, step back, lower halfway down in your plank. Inhale forward, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Step the left foot forward, right heel down, reach up, warrior one. On the exhale, hands to the earth, step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale for your back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend into the knees. Exhale, float forward. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, fold. Deep bend in the knees, reach up, chair pose. Inhale. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back or float back. Low plank. Inhale forward, back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward, left heel down. Virabhadrasana one. Sink deep into the right knee, inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back, lower halfway or to knees and chest. Inhale forward, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing. Step the left foot forward, right heel down, <clears throat> reach up, warrior one. Inhale, exhale, fold down, step back, lower halfway or to knees and chest. Inhale, back bend, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend into the knees, exhale, hop forward or walk forward. Big toes together, inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold. Deep bend in the knees, reach up, chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to a plank, lower halfway. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward. Right foot forward, left heel down, Virabhadrasana one, last one. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth, step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. 
Step the left foot forward, right heel down. Reach up with the arm. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing. Pause here, five breaths. And just settling the heels back towards the floor, fingers nice and wide. And then inhale, bend into the knees. Exhale, walk or float forward. Maybe stacking the hips, preparing for a handstand. Fold in. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, fold all the way back down. Inhale up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or float back to a low plank. Inhale forward, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Send the right leg up into the air behind you. Press right heel towards the sky, left heel down. Keep the shoulders square as you bend the right knee and stack the right hip open over the left. Slowly setting the right foot down behind you. Right arm reaching up and back, flipping over here. Listen carefully, side plank is our next pose. Slowly coming back over, right hand down, stack the left hip on top of the right, left arm reaching up. So you can modify or amplify by bringing the right knee down if you need to, or lifting the left leg up for more balance. Maybe looking up towards the top hand. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Press left heel to sky, right heel to earth. Strong through the palms, bend the left knee, stack the left hip open. Keep the integrity of the square shoulders. Getting that opening into the hip abductors. Bending the right knee slightly, set the left foot down behind you, flipping over, left arm reaches up and back. Very good. Really strong through that right hand. You know where we're going now. Slowly flipping over, transfer the weight to the left hand. Side plank as the right arm reaches up. Right hip stacking here. Vajistasana. Maybe the right leg lifts. Maybe the left knee comes down for modifying. Inhale, exhale to the plank, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing dog. Pause here. Inhale, send the right leg up behind you. Try not to kick it up, just press it up as if you're moving through peanut butter. Step the right foot through the hands. Set the left heel down nice and wide. Reach up, warrior two, sink in. Deep bend in the right knee. Strengthen the arms. Bend the right elbow, place it on the right thigh, left arm stretching up overhead. So find that lateral length through the left side. Inhale, back to warrior two. Straighten the right leg, pull the right arm forward and down to the right shin. Left arm stretching up to the sky, engage to the core here. Maybe the right hand floats away from the right leg. And back to warrior two, deep bend in the right knee. So getting ready to transfer weight into the right leg for half moon, reach forward with the right arm, stack the left hip open, right hand down to the earth or a block, left arm stretching up. So opening in to the Ardha Chandrasana. Set the left foot back down, deep bend in the right knee. 
Here, Drasana two, inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing. Step the left foot forward. Right heel spins down nice and wide. Reach up, windmill the arms, warrior two. Deep bend in the left knee. Sink a little bit deeper. Bend the left elbow, place it on the left thigh. Right arm stretching forward and overhead. Find length through the right side body. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten the left leg, reach the left arm forward and down to the left shin, right arm up, engage through the core. If you need to shorten the stance a little bit, do so. Maybe the left hand floats away from the left shin for a moment. Inhale, warrior two. Transferring the weight forward, stack the right hip on top of the left, left hand down to the earth or a block, right arm reaching up. Maybe the left hand floats away. More challenge to look over towards the right and maybe up towards the hand. Amplification, bend the right knee back behind you, reach the right foot with the right hand, Chapasana. Send the right foot back behind you if you have that bind. And then everyone releasing warrior two. Straighten the left leg, heel toe, the left toes in, hands to the hips and slowly fold all the way down. So prostrate a wide fold. If the head touches the ground, shorten the stance if you need to. And fold in here. Inhale, come up halfway onto the hands. Keep the right hand planted, stretch the left arm up. You guys are getting a good view of my um, good side. <laughs> left hand comes down to the earth. Right arm stretches up and open, but pay attention to your yoga mat, not the video. Inhale. And exhale, lower the right hand down. Bring the hands to the hips again. Inhale, come up halfway, press through the feet. And exhale, come all the way up to standing. Bend the left knee to the front of the mat. Warrior two, inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale, forward, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing. Inhale forward to a plank and lower all the way down. Right cheek to the mat, arms alongside the body. So we come to our back bend section here. Bring the hands along the shoulders, forehead to the earth. Inhale, peel the chest up, press through the pubic bone. Let the palms float here as the elbows bend back. Slowly, forehead to the earth, left cheek to the mat, arms alongside the body. Bring the hands to the lower back, creating a fist. On an inhale, press the fist back behind you. Lift the chest, press through the pubic bone. So we begin to strengthen those muscles around the lower lumbar, opening the chest and creating more mobility here in the shoulder heads. Take an inhale, come up even higher. And exhale, lower down, right cheek to the mat, arms alongside the body. Bend the knees back behind you. Take a hold side or the inside of the feet, forehead to the earth. Inhale, peel up. Maybe you can dorsiflex the toes towards the shins, press the heels towards the ceiling. Coming into that bow pose, keep the knees coming in towards each other here. Two more breaths. On the inhale, really lift up. On the exhale, dissolve a bit. Last one, inhale. 
And exhale, fall down, left cheek to the mat, arms inside the body. Bring the hands by the shoulders. Inhale, press up onto the knees. Walk the hands back and come to standing on the knees. So we come into Ustrasana, camel pose. Bring the hands to the lower back, tuck the toes under. On an inhale, slightly press the hips forward, open the chest up toward the ceiling and look up. If this is comfortable for you, bring the right hand down to the right heel with the toes tucked and then the left hand down to the left heel. Maybe the head begins to drop back. And slowly coming back up, hands to the hips. Set the hips back towards the heels. Hands on top of the heels, round the upper back, forehead to the knees, and lift the hips up. Rabbit pose, so stretching between the scapula, crown of the head towards the earth. And then slowly coming down to the heels and coming up with the upper body. Lean to the left and bring your legs out in front of you. So we take Janu Shirsasana, bend the right knee, place the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Square the shoulders over the left leg, inhale, reach up, and exhale, fold forward. So you can stay on the palms if you're rounding the upper back too much, or you might be able to fold all the way down, taking a hold of the left foot. Peel the chest up, other side, straighten the right leg, bend the left knee, bring the left foot in to meet the right thigh. Inhale, reach up, nice long spine. Exhale, begin to fold forward, keep the spine long, and then decide where the hands need to go. So if you need to stay on the palms and stay upright, do. If you want to fold deeper, come down to the forearms, let the forehead fall in. slowly peel the chest up stretch both legs forward Pachimottanasana forward fold take a bend in the knees if you have tight hamstrings inhale reach up and exhale bow forward folding down again find your edge straighten the spine decide how deep you should go so in practices like Baron Baptiste as we move quite fast it's very important to listen to your own intuition and find what feels best for your body. Inhale, reach up with the arms. And exhale, hands down alongside the body. Bend the knees, plant the feet, bring your hands back behind you, fingers tracking back, and lift the hips up. Let the head drop back. Keep pressing the hips up, let the head relax. And then slowly lower the hips down. Bring the feet off the earth, balancing into boat pose. So arms alongside the body, chest nice and open. Engage through the deep transverse abdominals here. Shoulder blades come down the back. For more challenge, you can straighten the legs. Look at the toes. On an inhale, lower to hover. On an exhale, come back up. Inhale, lower to hover. And exhale, up. Inhale and exhale inhale and exhale last one inhale and exhale lower down the knees into the chest not done with abdominals just yet wouldn't be a journey into power if we didn't have core 
So just allow yourself to rock from side to side here for a moment. So core stability and strength is one of the most important parts of the physical practice. So anytime you're looking for strength in your overall practice, begin here as the foundational block. Straighten the legs towards the ceiling, arms alongside the body, and point the toes in towards each other, heels out. On an inhale, lift the chest up, lift the shoulders, and lower the legs about 30 degrees. Really plug the lower back down. Lower another 30, hover here, plug the lower back down. Another 30, hovering right above the ground, stay with it. And come all the way back up, knees into the chest. Lengthen the legs up, arms alongside the body, shoulders come up, heels together, toes out, Charlie Chaplin feet. Inhale, exhale, lower 30 degrees. Stay here. Lower another 30. Lower two. And all the way back up, knees into the chest. Rock from side to side. Straighten the legs up towards the ceiling. Arms alongside the body. And toes just together here. Lower 30 degrees. Lower another 30. A little bit. Lower to a hover. All the way back up, knees into the chest. Keep the left knee in, extend the right leg, hands behind the head, you know where we're going, bicycle crunches. Twist over towards the left, and then pull the right knee and twist to the right. Twist to the left in the left knee, twist to the right knee. Keep moving back and forth here at your own pace. We'll stay there for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go knees into the chest. And set the feet down. Breath. In barren sequencing, we'll do around nine back bends. Today, we'll just do three. So you have three options. You can either, if you have a block, you can bring a block underneath the sacrum and just come into supported bridge. If you want more activity on an inhale, press to the feet, lift the hips, bring the hands underneath the hips, clasp, shoulders beneath you. Bridge pose, set to Bandhasana, Sarvangasana. If you have Urdhva Danyarasana, full wheel, Unclasp the hands, bring them alongside the ears, fingers tracking back. Press to the crown of the head first and then all the way up. We stay for five breaths. Whichever variation you're in, slowly begin to come down. Take a breath on the yoga mat. You take a deep exhale out of the mouth. And come back up once again. Pressing in to your supported bridge, or you can stay in supported. Pressing into your bridge pose with hand clasped behind the body, shoulders beneath, or coming into full wheel. You'll take five of your own breaths here, and when you're ready, you'll come back down. If you're working on coming up to standing from here, if you're in a drop back with your wheel pose and you feel safe, you can tuck the right toes under, stretch the right arm up, press to standing, inhale. On the exhale, hands together above the temple, slowly look back and drop in. Very lightly, hands set back down. We're all coming up for our last back bend. So if you're on the earth, press up.
and we'll slowly all come down. Wherever you're at, let the knees go wide, palms the feet together. One hand on heart and one hand on belly. Sigh it out here. Feel the belly rise and fall. Stay here or slowly extend the right leg and then the left, coming into your Shavasana. Mini sequence. You can extend each section of this journey into power if you would like a longer practice. If you're feeling good, you can just lie here in Shavasana for however long you need. Pause the video. But when you're ready, stretch the arms up overhead nice and long. Pull the knees into the chest, falling over to the side, whichever feels best for you. Using the hands to press yourself up to a seat. Take a cross-legged seat, sitting up nice and tall, hands resting on the knees. And allow one palm to shine up, one palm resting on the knee. So representing this giving and receiving cycle as energy moves in and from us. Bring hands together at heart center. Take a deep breath in, deep sigh out. Thumbs between third eye center. Bowing down, we say namaste. Thank you guys for joining me on the yoga mat today here in Udara, Bali. Um, Baron Baptiste is definitely an amazing practice to get into if you're looking to strengthen your physical practice. Um, this sequence today is about a third of the overall sequence, so it can be a lot more long, um, a lot stronger. So I encourage you to practice this a couple of times if you are new to Baron Baptiste and when you're ready to kind of challenge yourself a bit more, adding on and staying in these sequences a little bit longer and uh, just really gaining strength and patience with your practice. You can find more videos online at my YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash Echo Giselle Woodmer, or find out about retreats and trainings at echoflowyoga.com. Thank you guys for joining me. I will see you again soon.